Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, you factor 3 raised to power x out of 0, we have 3 raised to power x into brackets, 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here equals to 20 on this side. The next step here, we have 3 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3 equals to 20 on this side the next step here we divide both side by 3 that is divide this side by 3 also divide this side by 3 here we have 3 cancel each other that is we have 3 raised to power x equals to 20 over 3 the next step here we take the log on both side that is here we have log 3 raised to the power x equals to log 20 over 3 here. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and also subscribe. Next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x log 3 equals to log 20 over 3. The next step here, we divide both side by log 3. That is, divide this side by log 3. Also, divide this side by log 3. That is, here, log 3 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then, next step here, this follows when we have log a over b, which same thing as log a minus log b. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 3. That is, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3. Which implies here, log 3 cancelled each other. We have one left. That is, here yeah, x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1. That is, also here yeah, we can write 20 as 4 times 5. Which implies, what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then this also follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment. Share this video. And also subscribe. Next step here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, from here, also, 4 can be written as 2 times 2, as 2 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to log 2 squared, 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 
minus 1. Then, next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. As this 2 comes here, and what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, here we apply change of base. And what we have log a over log b, which is same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. That is the value of x here. We have 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. That is, what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then also plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then also plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then is it equals to 20 on this side and here we have same thing together three times that is when we have a plus a plus a the same thing as three times a then we can also rewrite this and we have three times three raised to power two log two base three plus log five base three minus one is this equals to 20 on this side then Next step here, this follows from the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. And also, a raised to power m minus n, same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. Then, what we have here becomes 3 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 then divided by 3 raised to power 1 this is equals to 20 on this side then from here this same thing as 3 times we can reverse this 2 off from power log and we have 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 over 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 is it equals to 20 on this side then here 3 here cancelled each other we have 3 raised to power log 2 square that's 4 base 3 and 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 20 on this side then here we apply the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to power log b to base a, this same thing as b. That is here, we have 4 times 5. This is equals to 20 on this side. Of course, 4 times 5 here gives us 20, which is equal to 20 here. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 
2, log 2 is 3, plus log 5 is 3, minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to step, subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.